The next contestant hasn't brought his dish, but luckily for him, Jelly thinks he is one. It's an old uh, family recipe for a trifle. Um, it's very alcoholic, so uh, it comes with a bit of a, a health I mean... warning. <laughs> it involves a lot of cream, a lot of sherry, a lot of brandy. Soak uh, some of those fancy Italian biscuits in booze. I think it's brandy. What, you mean the amaretti? Yeah, layer those at the bottom. Make a syllabub, which is... Uh, do you know what a syllabub is? Uh, yeah, like, I think I can handle okay, that. Sorry. <laughs> Big mistake, Jack. He's a Michelin star chef. Jack, would you be able to make a base, a biscuit or a sponge? Yeah, or I'm something? sure I would, yeah. Well, yeah. I know where I'm going. You're a fit young guy, and I want uh, to see you in the studio. Uh, <laughs> make the if you came in here looking really make... ugly, we wouldn't have it. It's going to be Monday, make... Tuesday, Jack Day. For you, Jilly, I'm, I'm in. You're in, Ed's in. I'm in. Do you want me to be in? No. I don't care, because we've no, overridden you anyway. OK, I'm out then. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jack, you have to make it pretty damn special to me, because I've really put my name on the line right, here. Right, I can tell, yeah. If you do fail, I'll gloat. <laughs> <laughs> in the dessert kitchen today are Alan's summery strawberry and hazelnut stack with tangy lime glaze and Jack's trifle, sherry and brandy soaked biscuits, brandy syllabub and wine flavoured cream. You might have noticed some tired-looking judges at those auditions, but these are the two gentlemen who convinced them, Jack and Alan. Though, Alan, I've got to say, Ed wasn't convinced, and you might have seen the little bit of footage where he says this dish is going to be a mess. I didn't see that, but I knew he wasn't convinced. The other two were, and uh, persuaded him, I'm glad to say. <laughs> Do you think you can still persuade them and Ed today? I hope it won't be a mess anyway at the end of the day, yeah. Good. Jack, you're the hunk that Jilly was dying for. Apparently, yeah. You can't let down her good name. I'll try not to. All right. Are you reasonably calm? I mean, you asked John Burton Race if he knew what a syllabub was. I know. It's not it's a, a great, huge gap. Not a great know, foot to kick off from. I'd had to explain it so many times that it just came out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You're still feeling good, though. I'm feeling right. It could go either way. But okay. Yeah, a bit more nervous in the studio than you thought um, might, you might not be. Not really. No, it's not that. It's more that the syllabub could be. It could just fall apart. So. Oh. Who knows? I know. It's one of those. It seems to me, gentlemen. <laughs> very good luck this afternoon. Thank you. The stage is set. Thank you. Alan is married with two children. He was born in Scotland and was very influenced by his mother's traditional Scottish cooking. He enjoys a whole range of foods from curries to French cuisine, as well as making his own delicious desserts. I'm confident I can win today. I've got um, an unusual twist on, on strawberries and cream, having the, the, the nutty base with a different texture and, and the lime to give an extra, extra zing to it. Freelance journalist Jack has an allotment which he's passionate about. He once cooked for 120 people at his brother's wedding and loves Mediterranean and North African dishes. I'm feeling uh, apprehensive because basically the recipe has a big chance of going perhaps badly wrong. Yesterday, Jack got started on his syllabub, a traditional British dish popular as far back as the 16th century. He zested the lemons, added the juice and left to soak. He then strained the juice into a bowl of sugar and added a very generous helping of brandy and sweet sherry, then whisked. He added the cream and whisked to a thick froth. Jack spooned off the froth into a muslin lined sieve to drain overnight, creating a thick curd. He made his own biscuits, sponge fingers and ratafias. He broke them up and soaked them in yet more booze, medium dry sherry and brandy. There's a lot of different components going on here. I'm, I'm still not totally convinced about the brandy. I think it should be sherry and only sherry. Basically, it's booze and I think that you can get away with whatever you fancy and whatever's going to work. Jack makes his custard. He whisks egg yolks and cream. He suggested this trifle sort of dates back to the 16th century, but from looking through the ingredients and the method, it could easily date back to the Roman times. Oh, uh, really? Uh, yeah. 
He infuses milk with lemon rind, combines the mixtures and gently cooks in a pan of simmering water. After chopping the candied fruits, he whisks cream and white wine into a light froth for the trifle. I'm, I'm feeling for the trifle. I wasn't that keen on the strawberry and nut tart in the first place, to be honest, so it's, it's going to have to do something special to my palate to swing me the other way. Alan mixes ground hazelnuts with butter, sugar and flour for the biscuits. He lays them out on a baking tray and pops them into the oven to bake. This is very much like a cheesecake. That's why I, I think this is going to work. One of those desserts that say, hey, summer's here. He heats the juice and zest of four limes with sugar to create the lime glaze, which will cut through the richness of the dish. He mixes double cream and creme fraiche for the light filling. At this moment, when we're about to taste, I sometimes have this feeling that I'm looking forward to tasting one more than the other, but I'm looking forward to tasting both these. Alan and Jack are underway. Jilly, instinctively, where do you go here? Well, I backed Jack at the auditions. I'm going to stay with him. I'm going to stay with him. I'm with Jack as well. Um, I wasn't convinced um, by, by Alan's combination of nuts and strawberries. No, he was never convinced, but you were OK with it. Yeah. I mean, um, I know almonds work well with strawberries, and so I don't see why hazelnuts shouldn't work well. As long as he puts it together how I imagine it in my mind's eye, I th I'd, I'd say that that would be the one that I'd probably go for. To Jackson and Allen at the moment, our final contest of the day is drawing to its climax. Will it be a points victory or perhaps even a knockout blow? The judges' tasting is coming up. We also have the verdicts on today's contenders in general. So let's see you then. <laughs> Welcome back to what's proving to be a pretty intense day. The time is ticking away for Alan and for Jack. Let's find out how they've been going. Can you convince Ed? That's the key. I don't know. I hope the combination will, uh, will win him round. But we'll just have to wait and see. Have you been keeping an eye on what's been going on next door? It's quite incredible. <laughs> <laughs> quite incredible, apparently, says your opponent. Uh, that's good. Have you got your opponent covered? Uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Let's see how things go with the judges. All right, formidable uh, trifle. <laughs> yeah. OK, the two of you. Played it up. The last dishes of the day are fighting for a place in Friday's regional final. Will it be Alan's summery strawberry and hazelnut stack with citrus lime glaze and decadent cream layers? Or will it be Jack's boozy winter trifle with brandy and sherry soaked biscuits, syllabub and wine flavoured cream topped with candied fruits? Two beautifully presented puds, um, strawberries and hazelnuts, will start us off. taste combination or do something for the judges. That is nothing like what I thought it was going to taste like. You um, mean that it's quite good? <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> it's very, very good. Yeah, mm. I like that. Do you like it, John? Is there anything I thought it was going to be? It's absolutely delicious. It is lovely. I think the combination is excellent. The um, biscuits are so crunchy and, and the nuts go very well. I wasn't mm. sure about the nuts and mm. I wasn't even sure about the lime and I'm eating not just this pudding but my words. Oh, mm, right, to the trifle. Um, the, the base is one of the booziest things I think I've ever tried mm. in my life. Um, the, the syllabub is lovely. 
Um, I love the taste of that and the lightness. You can see it's really light, um, very refreshing taste. Um, throw a bit of booze in there. Mm. Very grown up trifle, this. I think it's lovely. It has got a wallop of drink in there. It mm. really has. And you go through the layers, you go through different sorts of booze. Different sorts of textures, even though it's all on the sort of light and fluffy side, they are different. I think it's worked very well for Jack. Great. John? I think I agree with Ed. Um, nice syllabub. Um, but I don't like it, and I like my jelly. OK, well, the judges are now going to go and contemplate their verdicts. In the meantime, here's a quick reminder of what's been dished up today. <laughs>